Hey guys, so uh, what's up? Um, this is gonna be the quick check-ins for the weekend. Um, energies lately are changing like crazy because everything is changing like crazy out there in the world. It's so quiet everywhere. It's unbelievable. Because, you know, in the end, I think we're just being asked to stand still for a while. No. How we're reacting to that, different story, but it is what it is, I guess, for now. So I'll be, um, I'll be doing the quick check-ins. I'll add something at the end for uh, you guys, since, you know, we have time to spare these days. Um, I know some people don't want that, but since we do, let's pretty much take advantage of it. So I'll add something at the end of this video and then I'll add it as a separate video. But for the ones that are watching and wanna go on with that, that's why I'm putting it at the end of this video too. And then you can go watch it as a separate video from this uh, anytime you would like. I'm gonna post it on my channel separate. Um, so what most of you may not know, yeah, most of you may not know that. Um, I'm uh, I'm also a Reiki master, so I'll be adding an experience at the end of this video. It's about healing, right? Since we're doing what we're doing right now, which is not much, just sitting, waiting, who knows for how long. Uh, why not, you know, heal a little bit, a little bit of those fears that are coming up, that panic, that everything, right? I had my own fears around what's going on here. I didn't even know. I was like, something popped up and I'm like, oh, there you are. I was waiting for you. Little fear, you. Let's purge you out, you know? So yeah, it's it's crazy. It's And I love how the the spiritual community is responding to this, which is, you know, very positive for the most part and trying to give out that positivity and raising everybody's vibration up because it needs that uh the world right now but for the most part i think i think this planet just needs a break pretty much you know um yeah i know the situation for some people they can't afford that break um because of many, many aspects, but it is what it is. We need a reset and we're being forced to take it one way or another, you know? So yeah, I don't wanna talk too much about that because, you know, let's divert the, I mean, there are news and information everywhere at this point about it. So I would much rather, um, talk about what it is we're gonna do today which is a quick check-in for all of you guys for the weekend um gonna be looking into each sign individually by elements earth signs fire signs air signs and water signs and what else what else <laughs> I forget again every freaking time I do this. It's like, okay, we're gonna do this and this, and then what? Um, yeah, I'll be looking into uh, your energy in regards to whose ever energy is attached to yours at this point. Uh, could be anybody, anything. Um, from a bug, an insect that you can't stop thinking about, to the, your great great grandfather who, I don't know, I don't know, it could be just anybody. So it could be that one person too. So your energy in regards to them, their energy in regards to you, could be a situation also. Um, where the connection is at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe. Um, for each of you. Timestamps are going to be below in the description box and also in the comment section. Uh, this is pre-recorded, so do not try to um, press on those timestamps while this is going to be live, while this is going to be premiering because it's going to be off. So wait for it to upload and then 
uh, the timestamps will be correct. I hope everybody's listening to this uh, introduction because there's always uh, somebody that's like, oh, timestamps don't work. Well, introduction, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, these are general. Um, roles can be reversed still. Um, sun, moon, rising, whichever kind of placement you want. And again, stay tuned. If you want, at the end of this video, you do have to be relaxed as much as possible, but I'll give the instructions as we go uh, at that point. So, um, I think that's it. Is that, is that it? Is that... I love this uh, spray, Palo Santo. I love it. Not a good idea. I also burned my hair last night a little bit. <laughs> I woke up, I had my, uh, cause I, had a fire last night in my backyard and I stood a little too close um but I like to get warm and cozy till I burn up completely apparently so yeah um I think I think that's it I think we're good to go starting to get in the habit of uh having long introductions huh eh, eh. oh well you can skip that's why there's time time stamps all right getting started uh earth signs Capricorn Felix is sleeping. He was sleeping. I left him downstairs. Sorry, he might not show up. Although he might, he might surprise us. So Capricorn, uh, you get the Sun, the uh, Knight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Ooh, you're um, you're not very hopeful th these days. It's looking like there is uh, happiness, there is the little light at the end of the tunnel. You're just not seeing it, not that, not anymore. You know, there's there's a lot of confusion, a lot of possibly fear, uh, lack of confidence here. That's for sure. And this is just with you. Something's coming up here where fears are coming up uh, in decisions here. Um, for the other side, they get the Justice card, the uh, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Well, they want to make things right with you. They just don't know how. It's looking like it's uh, mission impossible here for them, you know, to balance things out with you. It's looking like a very heavy plan to take on, but they're working on it. They're not giving up. They just don't know how to do it now. Whoever's attached to you here. For the connection, you get the Queen of Wands, the uh, Three of Swords, and the Fool. So even though, even though there's pain here, I feel like this is your person. Uh, even though they, they have a lot of pain, they would still be willing to give this a chance. I don't feel this is you because you're mostly um, inside of yourself, living through a lot of emotions that are kind of, you're keeping them inside, not towards this person or situation. I feel like this is them that are mostly shown up here for the connection where even though, despite the fact that they're hurt, they still want to give this a chance. They still feel very much attracted here. And they would um, give this a go. So let me take a look at what the universe has to say. It's like you don't have much to say here. Because you're there in your thoughts. Um, from the universe, you get the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Fool. Pretty much the same thing as the connection. So yeah, lots of passion. Somebody is looking at their choices, but they're like, yeah, but 
even though I may have a lot of choices, I just want this one particular one for me. And I feel like, again, I feel like this is your person more than you. You're not very talkative today. You don't want to talk to me. Just fine. That's okay. Your person wanted to talk to me. I'm like, okay, we'll do that. And this, yeah. All right, Cappy, moving on to Taurus. Uh, yeah, lots of uh, crazy stuff happening here for such a small reading. Poof. So on your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Swords. It's looking like you want to communicate to this person. They make you happy, and you might want to tell them that. However, you have no clue on how to do it. You're thinking about it and thinking about it, too much thinking about it, actually, where you get to the point where all you do is think about it and forget to take the action here, which I do see you want to take this action towards them, you know? Again, the energies are crazy. A lot of people are coming to crazy realizations, like normal kind of things, but um, things that would usually take a while. People are like, oh, oh, okay, kind of like waking up. Um, it's really interesting what's going on in the cards lately. For your person, they get the sun, the death card, and the ace of swords. Huh. Um, this person is not thinking about happiness with you, even though you are. They're not, from what I can see. Um, they, they do have an openness towards you. Maybe it just looks different from what you're expecting out of them. You know, there is something, they are, they are open to you, but not in the sense that they were in the past, where possibly the both of you were happy, were looking for the same kind of thing to work on together and things like that. For this person, it doesn't look like that anymore. They are open, but not like you would want them to, you know? Uh, for the connection, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Five of Cups. Things are changing. Things are changing fast in this connection. Unfortunately, it's going to bring some sadness. I do feel here that you are the one that's coming to a quick realization that this person is it, it might be too late. And the response you're getting from them might actually bring you a lot of sadness here. You know? It's not what you expect at all. It's looking like. Interesting. Uh, again, this person does seem open. Not in the way that you want, though. So maybe if you do decide to act, give it some time, work with what it is in terms of their openness and see what happens, you know? Um, let's see. Let me take a look at what the universe has to say. You get the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Chariot. Yeah, things are going to be moving fast really soon. Again, there's a realization here of, I don't want to live in this torture anymore. I don't want to live in this pain. I don't want to be defensive. I want to open up. And I want to do it fast. You know? So, interesting. Interesting. Uh, interesting energies for a Taurus. That's for sure. Fast movement and action like that really interesting 
Let's see. Moving on to Virgo. Dog's always with me. He's always here by my side, coming and sleeping, and then I hear him like, because <sighs> it's so hard to be a dog and to sleep and eat and go outside and play. It's so hard. Such a hard life. Poor guy. <laughs> but he's always coming up with me. Felix, on the other hand, is like, ah, uh, I'm gonna sleep here. Leave me alone. Okay. All right, so on your side, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. Coming out of a period of time of um, feeling, uh, even feeling sorry for yourself, feeling abandoned, feeling like somebody left you, and, you know, um, coming out of that, you're not feeling like that anymore. You're kind of opening up to options here. And there is something uh, very spiritual to a connection that you're looking at. There's something very significant and really powerful that you're feeling as powerful. Whatever connection this is, you know. Um, for your person, they get the Strength card, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, they want, they want this with you. Um... They are feeling very passionate when it comes to you. They're feeling very attracted to you. Might be a Leo here or a fire sign that you're dealing with. Well, Leo showing up twice with the strength and the sun card in the connection. Um, for the connection, you get the sun, the uh, eight of pentacles, and the hangman. Yeah. Yeah, so it's looking like uh, for now, nothing is happening. Um Nothing concrete, nothing that looks like it's going to lead the two of you anywhere. But things are going to happen in this connection. Even though physically you may not be doing anything together, energetically you're still building up towards happiness. So I kind of see this as you opening up to somebody, somebody wanting this with you. Not happening quite yet, but it's gonna. You know, that's that's what it's looking like. Because in the way you're not really interacting right now, it's still building. It's still being tied up energetically. So, you know. Let me um, <clears throat> pull some cards from the universe. <clears throat> you get the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Magician. Ooh, Virgo, what's going on here? Um, somebody here, maybe it's not you, maybe it's the other person, I'm not sure who's doing this. Somebody here is manifesting this love coming towards them, but when it comes, it's like, nope, I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. Kind of like you're so specific in your requirements that it doesn't really fit your standards. You know, kind of, it's kind of looking like that. Like you do want this, but because it's not really exactly how you asked for it it's like i don't want this at all you know it's kind of looking like that um uh, which is hmm. i mean yeah it happens all the time so but yeah that's what i have for you virgo um let's see moving on to fire signs aries
All right, so on your side, you get the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Um, there's, I, I mean, you feel a lot of love and a lot of passion for a situation, a person, whatever the case, but there's also a lot of sadness. There's also a lot of you being a little stuck in the past, a little... Um, like it would be so great if you could hang on to this kind of energy because I see it I see it kind of uh flowing out of you but then this is kind of stopping it at times you know kind of interfering so because it's like you're feeling all of this which is great and then all of a sudden you feel really really sad and really down and you you may not understand why and it's because you're not letting go of something that happened in the past so Um, this situation, whatever it is that happened in the past in your connection here, um, try to take a look at it and see what's up with it. Try to find a way to let it go, to forgive this person for whatever they did, to forgive yourself, first of all, and then, um, the other person. And because it's an energy that's kind of like extra here, you know, you don't need that. This is too good of an energy to, to be stomped by this one here. So just saying uh for your person they get the high priestess the king of wands and the two of wands uh they want this with you they're very passionate about you they see you as being the most beautiful person in the world charming beautiful assertive everything you know, um, they're using their intuition a lot when it comes to you. They're not in their mind. They're not using their logic much. They're like, whatever I feel, and this is what I feel. Whatever I feel about this person, that's what's right. That's what I'm going to follow. And what they feel is that you are the shit, pretty much. You may be younger than them, by the way, because they're seeing you as the king. You're showing up as the knight. Um, for the connection, you get the eight of pentacles, the ten of swords, and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Somebody has been hurt here. Somebody was hurt. And I feel like it's you because you're the one that's hanging on to this, right? We've gone over that. The connection is still going, moving forward. But because somebody feels hurt by whatever, um, they're acting a little bit defensive. They're acting, they're not opening up fully to this other person. You know, and, and again, I feel like this is you. Which is, I mean, you do whatever you got to do, but it's pointless, you know? We're in a time of forgiveness, maybe, you know? Because what are you going to do with this? Blah, energy, nothing. <laughs> Let's see, let's pull a card, uh, some cards from the universe here for you. Look at this. I mean, really strong freaking connection here. The Six of Cups and the Lovers. What more do you want? This is a very tight soul connection. Very powerful one. And you want to leave? Uh-uh. You're not going to leave. This is my card of I'm leaving but not really. So even though you may express that at times, um, what you feel truly deep down is this. You feel this connection. You won't leave anytime soon, but you're saying that. So, you know, you do whatever you got to do in the end. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Leo.
Wow. Okay, so the only card here that's eh is the first card here uh, that you got on your side, which I don't believe truly. I mean, again, as I said to Aries, the Seven of Swords to me as a reader is that kind of card of I'm leaving you, but not really. A little bit of a drama queen here. But you get the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Lovers. So no, you want to leave. You want to say bye-bye. But look what you truly want. This connection here is very strong to you. You want a brand new beginning here in love. Um, you are acting as if you're leaving, you are, and it's not like you're pretending, you're actually doing it, you're actually taking the steps of walking away, but deep down, you feel something else, you know, uh, for them, they get the page of cups, the hermit, and the two of cups, they're thinking about ways of coming your way, because they want the two of you to come together here, they want to bring an offer of love, but currently, they're thinking a lot about it. For the connection, you get the Emperor, the World, and the Strength card. The Emperor, your person, the Strength card is you in between you, the world. Which usually means endings, but it also means beginnings. And I feel like some sort of cycle ended between the two of you and something fresh is about to start, something very powerful. Uh, here, because the emperor, this person of yours, is very determined, and in the way their spread goes, yep, they are, and you're standing in your power also, you two are very, you're at the same level, energetically, you know, you're equal when it comes to your energies, maybe before one was lower, one was higher, when, I don't know, all over the place, well, right now it's looking like the both of you are balanced, for some reason, physically, you are thinking about taking the action of moving away from this, but energetically, you can't because you're feeling what you're feeling. So let's uh, see what the universe has for you. All major arcanas in the connection, which is very powerful. You get one major arcana, they get one major arcana on, on each of your sides. Yeah. You get the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Something very concrete, very, very solid beginning between the two of you. Um, equal give and take. The both of you are working on it. And it's bringing in a um, solid new beginning for the both of you, for this connection. It's stable. It's looking really, really stable. So, yeah. Interesting. Interessante. Or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a language I invented because it wasn't in my language. It sounded like Italian because it had that accent, but I don't think. No, they're not saying it like that. Interessante. No. Okay, Leo, that's it. Uh, moving on to Sagittarius. forgot to tell you guys, somebody, somebody, one of you, and I'm not talking to Saji now, I'm talking to everybody, hopefully everybody's gonna listen, but I don't think so, but anyways, um, one of you was trying to get in my mind, um, two nights ago, I think, in a dream that I had, and it was unpleasant, I have my spiritual, my energetic boundaries, so nobody's gonna get in unless I want to, Somebody tried. So, yeah. It was very interesting, but very, eh. Not liking that. So, anyways, back to Tom and Jerry. Why the hell did I say that? Maybe it was a Sagittarius. Did you? Did you, Saggy? 
don't know. All right, so on your side, you get the Page of Swords, the Chariot, and the Tower. What's up with the Major Arcanas for the... Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, so... um, You want to move in fast towards this situation, towards this person, towards Jerry, possibly. You want to go fast. Um, It's immature. It's not planned. It's... Nah, 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 let's do this. Uh, and it's probably gonna blow up in your face if you're gonna do that. So this is kind of telling me like Something's coming over you one day and you're like, oh, I gotta text them because they did this and that and I gotta tell them Like sending them a text you suck and then you realize What the hell did I do? You know, it's looking like one of those things like an impulsive kind of Energy that you're gonna figure it out right after you do it which sucks <laughs> usually so kind of see it like that for some reason um for them they get the ten of swords the uh page of wands and the ace of pentacles interesting well they do want to start something new with you they are thinking about you but there's also a lot of pain for this person i feel like this person feels betrayed by you regardless they still want this with you Hmm. Uh, for the connection, you get the star, the six of swords, and the ten of cups. Um, somebody here is, um, is walking away from what they truly want in order to, um, to obtain their happiness somehow. So it's looking like this star card, this wish fulfillment card is not, it may be an illusion. It may be something that you thought you wanted, you know, and now you're, 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 you're realizing it. It's, it's something that I thought I wanted or that I don't want anymore. Cause somebody's heading towards true happiness. And they may have no idea how that looks like, but they're like, I know for sure that this is not it. So I'm going to walk away from this. So somebody's going through that kind of realization here. It does look like an illusion. Like, it's not what it seems. This uh, wish fulfillment of yours, of your person's. I don't know who this is that's coming to this conclusion of, nope, not it. Next. You know, uh, let's see what the universe has for you. And there it is again, the star attached to the five of swords, which is illusions, deception, sabotage. Somebody's thinking about it. Somebody's in the process of thinking about that. Is it truly what I want or is it not? You know, is it deceptive? Am I kidding myself? Am I lying to myself that I want this? Yeah, somebody's uh, really, really thinking about the validity of this um, person or situation that looks like it's something that they want. They're not sure, whoever that is, you or them. I feel like it's you. Um, let's see. Moving on to air signs, Aquarius. If this is not a young couple in age, they're young at heart, that's for sure. Um, so on your side, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Well, 
there's an attraction that you feel towards this person. There's a lot of passion that you feel towards them. You you find them very charming, very beautiful, right? Uh, but you have your way with this, or you want to have your way with this, or your way or the highway, pretty much. It's looking like you do want some sort of a partnership with this person, uh, but I don't feel much flexibility on your part um, when it comes to that. And it might be because secretly you're attracted to this person. You know, and you want to show up like, I got this, I'm in control. I'm so good at everything that I do. You know, there's a little bit of that energy there. And I do suspect it's because there is something, something that you may not even understand at this point, uh, like something uh, underneath it all. You know, the way that you're acting is influenced by the way that you're feeling towards this person. And you're feeling a lot. And you may not grasp it at this point. You may not understand that. Um, for them, they get the Tower, the Magician, and the Page of Swords. Uh, well, they're trying to manifest you, but... Mm, cross watchers are, are gonna hate me they suck at manifesting apparently um they're not doing it right it, it's kind of like every time it looks like the manifestation is coming to fruition it's kind of blowing up in their face um and they <laughs> then they appear as oh my god uh what the hell am i gonna do now and I don't know, it's pretty weird, it's pre not weird in a bad way, it's just, it, it, it's kind of looking like a kid's play here, um, where somebody's trying to do something, but it's not really, they don't, they, they're not using the right ingredients, you know, for it to work out. And it's only backfiring. Uh, for the connection, you get the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of passion between the two of you, that's for sure. But neither of you know how to handle the situation it's looking like. Um, you know, those... When you really, really like somebody and that somebody really, really likes you and it all becomes so awkward because neither of you know how to act around one another, it's kind of looking like that. And it's creating a lot of nonsense a lot of eh, you know there's a lot of restriction here for some reason on both parts i'm sure it'll um dissipate eventually but it's it's that right now it's kind of looking like uh i don't know i don't know i'm left-handed here i don't know what to do you know for both of you uh let's see Let's see what the universe has for you. Yeah, again, same kind of thing. So there's a lot of waiting. After a lot of waiting, somebody's finally deciding to, to talk. And the reaction they're getting is not the best. It's one of those... I don't know if I want this, you know, kind of situations, because somebody's deciding to finally open up and talk about what it is that they truly feel. If you do, make sure you don't pour all of this that you're holding back, all of it right there on this person, because that's going to be their reaction. They're going to be intimidated. They're going to feel like they need to walk away. So take it slow, because from this kind of situation, things need to be surfaced slow really slow you know nothing fast nothing sudden nothing too much from the get-go pretty much you know so yeah <laughs> interesting reading um let's see moving on to gemini
They were in the way. Like, who brought you to so close to me? I did. <laughs> Duh. Oh, God. Alright, so on your side, you get the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Ooh. Who ha- this, this feels very similar to another reading I just did um, in this video. Maybe Taurus? You may be a Taurus cusp? I don't remember. All right, so you are looking very confused. You have a lot of passion, a lot of love for this person. And you want to take all this passion and all this love to this person. You have no clue on how to do it. You're very much in your head thinking about it. I do see you going, though. I do see you making a um, shy attempt. Nevertheless, it's, it's there. It's going to happen. You're going to do it eventually. You're not going to spend all this time in your head thinking about it too much. You're, you're, you're going to be on, honest about it eventually. Not fully honest, but honest about it. For them, they get the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the uh, King of Coins, which is Pentacles. So, uh, Taurus, yeah. Um, they want this with you also. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so it's looking like you want to go towards them. They want to come towards you with love. They want the two of you to come together. They have a lot of stability. They're looking at you as... Um, being their person, their stable person, stable person, stable commitment, <laughs> well, stable, okay, take it, you know, just take it, <laughs> um, today English, I don't know, uh, okay, uh, for the connection, you get the Justice card, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, things are getting balanced between the two of you, it's like, it's equal amounts of passion, of love, and stability. Not too many swords, which is actually really, really awesome. Why is there a sword in the Justice card here? I just saw that. That's very interesting. But yeah, not too many swords. Um... So, Jonah, not too many things to say here. Uh, this is just you when you overthink things, but you two are on the same kind of um, mindset here. You have the same mindset towards one another. Same feelings, same wants, same needs, same everything, you know? Uh, let's see what the universe has for you. The Devil card, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands. You know what this mindset does to you? This being stuck in your head, overthinking things, not being able to make any kind of decisions. This is a pattern of yours. It's looking like with the Devil card here. Of course, this could be them. But I feel like this is you. And also, the more you stay in that, the more conflict it creates for you in the first place. And then for this connection... And even for the people around you, you know, not being able to make up your mind and things like that, like always feeling stuck, feeling like you can't, you know, this creates a lot of confusion and a lot of uh, conflict around you and within you. I mean, when it, when the conflict is within you, you're going to release that into the world. The world is going to pick it up and they're going to be like, oh, why do you feel that? Oh, I feel that too. Oh, oh, oh. conflict, you know? So yeah, uh, that's something maybe you should look at, work on, because it's on your side here, and then it shows up from the universe too as a uh, with the devil card, which is telling me that maybe you should um, address this. 
situation you know where you're not able to decide on things um moving on to libra <clears throat> Okay, this time I did not turn up the heat. So who, who, who did it? You're sleeping, he's sleeping. Who did it? Did I? I don't remember doing it. Somebody's messing with me here. Uh, good thing they're not messing with me with cold. That would be, I would get really upset. All right, uh, Libra, on your side, you get the King of Swords, the uh, Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. You're, uh, you're making a decision here to talk about something, something that's... Um, something either in your life or with this person or connection, something's um, not sitting right with you, something's upsetting you, something's disappointing you, something's keeping you in this very sad um, energy here, you know? And you're making up your mind, you wanna talk about it. You're like, okay, enough is enough, we need to talk about things. Cause it's looking like some, some things were left unfinished in a situation and you're like, I need to talk, you know? It's it's one of those things where it's um, looking like it's coming from nowhere, but no, you've thought about it for quite some time here to talk about it, to be open about it, but you were waiting the right kind of time, the right kind of um, mindset for you to be able to express whatever it is you need to express here. And it's coming, that mindset, that space that you're creating for yourself to be able to express this. For them, they get the Three of Cups, the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. Hmm. <sighs> They're uh, leaving behind something. I either this person was a party animal <laughs> or I don't know, going out with multiple people staying out late and you know doing everything with everybody pretty much and if that's the case they're leaving that lifestyle behind because they want something more powerful more spiritual and that's um from what i'm getting that's with you you know they're looking for something more deep than just having fun and partying and things like that you know But yeah, uh, either that or this person, um, overall, whatever it is, I feel like they are moving from something. They are leaving something behind, possibly a three-party situation, which I'm not really getting. And even if it is, it's like I'm leaving the, the shallow behind to go look for something uh, more deep here, you know? So whatever that shallow means, could be a person, could be multiple persons, could people, could be, I don't know, just about anything. But they're looking for something uh, really spiritual here. For the connection, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. Yeah, somebody needs to make up their mind already. It's like the universe is kind of calling them out. Hey, it's time for you to decide um, what you want out of this connection. Uh, what does stability mean to you in terms of this is for your person I'm getting the universe is kind of slapping them on the face telling them hey you need to decide do you want the stability with this person or not you know they're uh, juggling they cannot make up their mind quite yet but they're being forced to decide 
Uh, let's see. Let's see what the universe has to say. Interesting. Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the Judgment card. Very interesting. You get the Four of Cups on your side, you get the Judgment card in the connection here. So I'm kind of seeing you going from being disappointed, feeling disappointed, feeling low, feeling um, very blah about the situation, going from that to happiness. It's kind of like it's time. It's time for this energy to change. It's time for this kind of vibration of yours where you're upset about something you're disappointed you're down you're uh it's time for this to to get to this and i feel like on your side this can be achieved because this is kind of a release of this right where you can only release the sadness only if you talk about it that's what i'm getting on your side and I feel like that moment is getting close for you to be open about it and to express it and release it. It doesn't even have to be you talking to this person. It could be you just talking to somebody else about it. But I do see you wanting to take this to them. So, I don't know. Let's see. Moving on to water signs. Uh, cancer. morning Wow. Okay, so um, on your side, you get the Three of Cups, the uh, Eight of Wands, and the Star. You really, really want to take somebody out, um, get together with somebody. You might want to come back together with somebody because it's truly what you feel that you want, this person, this connection, and you're ready to communicate about it to them. Um ask for this reconciliation or whatever it is that you want to ask them you're very determined here uh for your person they get the two of cups the eight of swords and the ace of wands they too want this with you in fact they cannot stop thinking about it it's actually looking a little obsessive like they can't even escape these thoughts of coming back together with you or coming together with you um, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of love for them. Um, for the connection, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the uh, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, you two want to build together. You two are building together. Energetically, you're already ahead of this. Uh, together. There's passion. There's determination. There's... Um, there's nice things happening here. <laughs> it's looking like. All right. So let's see. Let's see what the universe has. Somebody's tired of going from feeling happy to feeling down, to feeling happy to feeling down. Uh, and I feel like that's just your thoughts, um, where you're finding yourself into this place of, oh my God, it would be so great if things would work out and we would be together and happy and uh, thinking like that. And then all of a sudden you're going on the other side with, oh, but they hurt me. Oh, but what if they hurt me again? And what if, you know... Um, from positive to negative in a split second, uh, you're wanting to just stop that pretty much. And that's what you're doing. 
you're actually walking away from that kind of energy of da 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 you know none of that no no more it could be them it could be them because they're in a, their head here compared to you which you don't seem to be stuck in any way they're sometimes stuck in their head about a situation and it could be this one here so it could be them but whatever the case or whoever this is no more none of that confusion none of that going from one extreme to another so that's um that's about it moving on to scorpio oh my leg is numb okay better i can feel it again it's a long time when did i die? i i think i I didn't switch position for like 15 minutes. That's a long time. All right. My leg's gonna fall asleep. All right, so on your side, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Moon, and the King of Wands. So it's looking like you want a partnership with this person. Uh, what you're hiding from them and possibly from the world is the fact that you're very much attracted to them. You're, yeah, you're feeling a lot of attraction towards this person. And you're not really letting them know because I feel like uh, there is some sort of partnership that you're looking at to start with them, possibly in work. And you don't want to bring feelings into the mix. Maybe you think it's gonna, it's not gonna work out because they're gonna know and they're not gonna want it if you feel attracted to them and things like that, you know? Because uh, I do see you kind of holding back from what you truly feel about them. For them, they get the Magician, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Interesting. Um, they don't know what they want. They think they do, but they don't know what they want. You know when you're manifesting something and you don't really know what you're asking for? This is what it's looking like for this person. Um... On the surface, apparently, they got it. They know, right? But deep down, it's like, uh, I can't make up my mind. This is either a very shallow person. Or even worse, they don't know what they want. You know? Uh, for the connection, though. You get the Page of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Page of Wands. It is looking like the two of you are uh, moving forward in this connection. In the way that things are currently, it's looking like it's working for the both of you. You know, I don't know how much it's working for the connection. It's like you're not wanting to share how you truly feel, and that works for you for now. They don't really know what they want, and that works for them for now. You know, it's kind of looking like that. The way you're moving forward, the way they're moving forward with this, for now, it's all good. That's what it's looking like. When things will change, the energies will change also. But for now, it's working out. You know, this is what it's looking like. Uh, let's see what the universe has. There may be some conflict here between the two of you that's going to require a lot of strength on both your parts to, to get over this. Um, it's looking like it's coming in fast, whatever it is. It's like an argument, like a stupid, like starting to argue with this person from something very little, very stupid, very insignificant. And then it becomes this whole 
argument, right? That kind of looks like it's ending everything or it's blown out, out of proportion, proportions here for sure. So it does look like it's coming out of nowhere. But it's something, I mean, if you want to pull through it, I'm sure you can because you've got the strength card on your side here. So I don't necessarily see it as a problem besides... Um, Besides of when it's actually going to happen, it's going to feel like the end. After that, it's going to cool down. So, Scorpio, that's what I have. Moving on to Pisces. They're too close to me. I don't need them for now. Later. On your side, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Star, and the Knight of Cups. It's looking like on your side, you know what you want. And what you want right now is this connection, is this person. Uh, you're looking at this as having a potential, a huge potential, to go in, in a very stable place, very happy place, very balanced place. Uh, it's what you currently truly want. And you want to go towards them with love here. For them, they get the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles... And the Eight of Cups. Interesting. Uh, in order for them to make this work between the two of you, they would have to leave some sort of a partnership behind. It's looking like it could be a work partnership, you know, uh, but they would have to leave something behind. That's for sure. Something that they did work on. Not a whole lot, but they they did invest in that, whatever that is. But again, in order for this to work out between the two of you, they would have to make this sacrifice, right? Uh, for the connection, they get uh, you get the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Temperance card. Communication is going to come. Um, it's going to come. It's it's feeling like you're, you've been waiting forever for this communication to come. They've been waiting forever. Uh, the waiting time here is very pressing. But it's coming. Just be patient. In divine timing, it's going to come. And it's looking like it's coming soon from where I'm sitting. But uh, just the, the thought that it hasn't happened in quite some time, I, I do see you losing hope here that things are going to be talked about. Uh, let's see what the universe has. You get the Hermit, the Page of Wands, and the Star. Interesting. You may not be ready yet. You're building up towards this energy that I just read for you. Where um, you get the Star here, the Star here. So you're realizing that this is what you want. And you want to go to them correct, pretty much. And right now... Not that you're not... You're very passionate about this person. So you don't want to come off to them as being like, oh, I want just sex from you and that's it. You know, you don't want to come off as that. And that's why you're going within and thinking about a way on how to show up to this person to make them understand that there's actually love there. There's not, you know, it's not only passion. It's not only for fun, pretty much, you know. So, yeah, uh, that's what I have for you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, so as I promised, I will attach something right now uh, at the end of this video. Uh, please be in a place that's comfy for you. If you can't, pause the video, stop it, come back to it later. Again, I'm going to um, 
um, post it as a single video also so that you can reach it anytime you, you want to. Um, basically, it's healing. That's what it is. I will uh, explain the instructions and what it does and all of that in the next part of this. So for this, that's it. See you next time. Bye. The consciousness within the holy fire energy will evaluate where you're at and provide the type of energy and experience that is appropriate to heal or to take you to the next level of your development. The energy will work deeply within the subconscious mind. Because of this, some participants may simply feel calm and relaxed. Others may see colors or feel the energy flowing through them or have other inner experiences. However, it is important to know that the most important effects take place below your level of awareness and then rise slowly to the level of your conscious mind. Find a comfy position. You can lay on the floor, on a couch, be seated on a chair. Slowly close your eyes. Let's take a couple of deep breaths together. Breathe in for one, two, three, four, five, and out for one, two, three, four, five, in, one, two, three, four, five, out, one, two, three, four, five, in, one, two, three, four, five, out, one, two, three, four, five. Continue breathing on your own for a little while as you feel your body relaxing. Imagine it's a beautiful sunny day. Imagine you're walking through a beautiful forest. As you breathe into yourself, imagine you're breathing in the life essence of the forest. And with each step you take, imagine the energies of the earth are flowing up through the bottoms of your feet. As you walk along, allow yourself to experience the trees, plants, flowers, and grass, and to merge with the life and the harmony and the peace of the forest. As you continue to walk along, you notice that up ahead it's getting lighter and you realize you're coming to the edge of the forest. As you leave the forest, before you it's a beautiful river. It's the river of life. There are beautiful flowers growing along the riverbank, and there is a path following alongside the river. Follow the path alongside the river.
eventually you come to a bend in the river. There's a light breeze blowing, causing the surface of the river to have small ripples. The sun is shining up the rippled surface of the water, creating a glittering, shimmering light. You realize this is no ordinary light, but it's a spiritual light coming from the highest heaven. enter your soul. Allow the light to guide you.
whenever you are guided to do so and at a pace that feels right for you. Take a few breaths. Bring your awareness to your eyes and slowly open your eyes and come back.